Just a quick little project today. I've got this AC adapter to a 2.5 millimeter TRS. Kind of a dangerous concept. This came from an old walkie-talkie wristwatch. And I want to power a headphone amp. First, I need to know if this 9 amp 100 milliamps is enough. And it should be, because that's what that says here. But you don't know till you try it, and you don't want to do the soldering if you can't test it. So, I'm going to plug it in, and I think this was the polarity, but I can't remember. Turn that this way so we can see the light. The light would be the green one there. I'll touch that on there. Nope, try the other polarity. Still nothing. Power switch was on. Well, let's get the voltmeter out and see what the situation is. Sixteen volts. That's a lot of volts. It's a class two transformer, so as you increase the load, the voltage drops. So this here should be working. Well, now we need to know if we've killed it. So we'll power it the old fashioned way. Hmm. Let's get a different battery just to be sure. Or maybe it was because this was plugged in. That might have a sensor of some kind. But we'll try a new battery too. Haha. <laughs> All good. So, our conclusion, I suppose, is that this is no good. Sorry, not that. This. Not enough juice. Sad. I just tested this off camera and the power input does indeed work with a proper power supply so we know that we didn't do any damage so yeehaw. I do have another power supply. This one is a switching power supply. It's good for a whole amp, 10 times as much current. I was hoping to not have to use it because that's way more current than I need and I could probably use it somewhere else. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So we'll take this end off because it's the wrong size. We got dashes on one side. I don't know my conventions. I don't know if that's supposed to mean positive or negative. So let's find out. And the easiest way to do that is just to hook her up. I wonder what gauge this is. This is 24 gauge. Now we need a little bit more room on this side to work with in my opinion. Come on. Ah, it's because it's pretty tinned. Okay. All right, now, in the end, we want the center negative. So we're just gonna hook these up together and plug it in make sure we got center negative. Little Wago terminal blocks. Stick one in here. That's the stripey boy. To the red. Can I get this angled just right for it to work? Close. It's holding. All right, plug her in. And we want a negative on the center. And that's what we got, 9.46 volts. So we said stripey guy to red. Put these logos away. A lot, like, a lot less mess when you have little blocks like that to work with. And they're insulated so that you don't touch each other with them. And there's even a little test port there so you can poke in a multimeter probe. Ta-da! Now this is the Wago 221. They also make bigger ones. 
sorry, 221 is a series. This is a 221-402, I think. 403, three-way, 405, five-way. So, heat shrink tubing. Is this guy gonna fit? Nice and tight. We don't need that full length though. Probably go for two-thirds of it. Put it on all the way away from the heat. Separate these out a little more, but not so much that this doesn't cover the whole length of what's going on. I think that should be about good. Now we want to cover that with as much as we can. So that's about there. Put running. Do that. Do that. Now we're ready for soldering. So stripey guy goes to red. That's all we gotta remember. Well, that's not all we gotta remember. We gotta remember how to tie our shoes and how to make breakfast. So we're gonna tin the wires. And we gotta go quick so that we don't melt our heat shrink before it's time. Bruh. That'll do. And good. How's our heat shrink doing? He's doing okay. Smoky. All right, stripey that way. So which one's gonna be harder to do? Start with the positive. Just like 2021, we should start at positive. Oh, don't make a big spiky glob like that. That's not good. Oh boy. Don't be doing that. Alright, I can probably get my heat shrink over it. With a little bit of convincing. Tilt this guy down. Slide that over. Beautiful. Turn the gun off, the iron off. Get some heat on it. Let the heat flow through you. Now this might get interesting. Because I picked a pretty tight heat shrink over this. It's not the prettiest job I've ever done. It's already very tight. Don't need too much heat on here. Good enough. Now I plug it in, try it. Hey, that's it. That's all.